Young African men, stop being slave to your sexual urges. Life is very difficult and I understand you lack that girl, you think you're in love with her, you want to do your life with her and stuff like that. But with time, you realize that this is not actually moving you forward. You need to start thinking about yourself. And let me tell you something. Nobody successful can be successful if he's unable to master his urges, his feelings, his emotions, especially about women. Women is one of the most destructive power a strong man can possibly encounter. Let me repeat that. Women, especially bad ones, are one of the strongest, most powerful force, contrary to your purpose, that a strong man can possibly encounter. A lot of women have destroyed many, many lives. And I'm telling you today, as much as you think she's fine, she looks great, she's amazing. But if this is disrupting you from moving towards your goals, towards the destinations you set yourself, it's not a good idea. It's not a good choice. You need to master yourself. You need to actually take time to you know, get back to yourself and say, you know what? Where am I leading to? Where am I going? Because many of you are completely lost. You've made a priority in your life while you've stopped yourself from moving forward. You've made her everything you can possibly think. She represents your world. You think about her all the time. Is she even thinking about you? Do you know if she's thinking about you? Whatever you get your salary, you share with her, like off and off. If not, the majority of your salary goes to taking care of this girl. Would she be doing the same for you? Do you think if she had a salary working hard, she'd do the same thing you're doing for her? And I know they will tell you, now a man is supposed to do this, a man is supposed to do that. But dude, you're not her husband. You are you, she is she. As much as I understand, you could be helping her out here and there. You could be doing some positive things, which is great to help her move forward. You should actually be helping her get a job. Help her get a job, you know what I mean? Help her, you know, get ahead, moving forward making some money on her own instead of giving your money for iphone 13 max pro give her the money to start a business so you can evaluate whether she's somebody worthy or not you don't want a liability in your life for the rest of your life you do not want a liability in your life you want somebody strong that can help you move forward somebody that can contribute to your growth to your family somebody can bring something positive to you you don't want to have another child with whom you make children is that what you want for your life first of all stop right now Stop moving toward the wall. Stop killing your destiny. Stop killing yourself into thinking about a woman who does not think about you. Get back on track, young man. You have a goal. You have purposes. You have ambitions. You need to get back to your ambition. Number two, stop being lazy. Yeah, stop being lazy. Stop sitting around complaining about government. Yes, government is bad, you know. They're eating all the money while we're suffering. I understand that. There aren't many good governments in the world anyway. Especially not in Africa. But let me tell you something. If you look around you, you'll find people that have been successful for many years with the same government you're complaining about. Look around you, you will see people that come from your neighborhood, people that have experienced the same difficulties as you, same kind of poverty as you, but have succeeded with the same criminal government that you're complaining about. So stop feeling sorry for yourself. You were not born to be pleased. You were not born to be taken care of. Nobody gives a continental about you. Nobody leaves a living F about whatever you're going through. Trust me, that's the reality of life. Stop being lazy. Get off your ass. Move forward. Do something about it. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to sit down there, you know, crying, pity potting about your difficulty? Your father dies. How oh, your mother couldn't make it without whatever support. You can't do that, man. The problem is not many people talk about their problems. Not many people will expose you. Look, I left my family. I was a young man. I was just 19 years old. I, and I went out there trying to find myself, find my own avenues, trying to make life out of my... 19? That's a young man. In a foreign country, that's a young man. And I worked all sort of crazy jobs, looking after people's car, working as a security guard. And, I, you know, I mopped, wiped people's floors. I did crazy things. But guess what? I knew how to express myself. I knew how to convey my emotions to people. And people could see this guy is not a bad guy. Let's give him a head because he's got goals and ambitions. And that's how I move forward with life. You need to get off your ass. Get off your ass. Move forward. Do something. Learn something. Get into a course. Develop some capabilities, some skills. You got to do something about it. And stop crying over your brother who's not assisting you. Stop, you know, blaming his wife saying, yeah, since my brother got married, and his evil wife doesn't, you know, allow him to attend to us and give us money like he used to do before. No, even, no, dude, that's your brother's life. That's your brother's wife. How about your own life, your own wife, your own situation? You need to build your own self. Stop running after girls all day long. Stop trying to be looking cool and buying expensive things that you cannot afford. Stop buying expensive shoes. Stop buying expensive cell phone. You cannot afford them right now. Find a job or find an idea. Build something. Dump into your artistic side. Find something. Be creative. Create your own life, bubble. You have the key to your own success. Nobody can do it for you. If you sit down and listen closely, 
and read closely and examine closely, you see many people that you you appreciate, many people that you like, many successful people have done it the way you are supposed to be doing it. They've come out of poverty, out of misery, out of difficulties, out of terrible areas. They've made it up to the top. It's all a choice. Are you going to be having fun right now, going to parties, going to music, concerts, taking that girl out, spending a lot of money that you not you don't have, spending money that you cannot afford to please her, and all the time pushing yourself. But let me tell you something. As soon as she gets somebody bigger than you, somebody better than you, somebody that can offer her things that you cannot afford, she's gone. The majority of girls, more than 95%, they don't actually really love you. They are with you for the comfort for things you do for them of course you can go out she can take a bottle of wine you're gonna pay for it of course you can go out and have fun do jet skiing speed boating you're gonna pay for it do you think that means she loves you because she spent time with you no it means she has a good time when she's next to you because you can afford it very little number very few women actually love you for you very few will sacrifice their own money to invest in you so you can grow very few can pay for your studies very few can pay for your accommodation while you're trying to find yourself many many of them will not they say that's not my job what but they expect you to do for them if they were in the same position what i'm saying to you today my brother is we've all been through that whatever emotion you're feeling right now feeling pain and sorry for yourself for not being good enough for not being man enough you're asking yourself probably a lot of questions right now because this girl has broke your heart and you don't know where you are i should have done this i shouldn't listen to her i should have done this i should have you know should have would have could have won't fix it if somebody loves you they go through a lot of pain for you until you take them to a breaking point of course everybody has a breaking point have you taken her to a breaking point i don't think so because it takes time to get to a breaking point and even if you take somebody to a breaking point, the look in the eyes will always tell you there is love somewhere. When there's nothing left, no cell phone answering, no message responses, nothing leaves you on view. I know it's very difficult to accept. I understand what you're going through. It's that age. And yeah, people get lured into things they don't expect. A lot of men before you have been destroyed through this. I understand that. But take a break. You will not going to die from this. But you make a choice. Invest in yourself. Build yourself. Make money. You make money, you will not have to run after anybody. Whether it's a man or a woman. Make money. Take care of yourself. Because everybody runs after money. That's the bottom line. I know it's very sad, but that's the reality. Build a life for yourself. Build something. Get skills. Grow something. Get courage. Nobody's going to run away from you. Actually, people will try to be your friend. They will do whatever they can to be acquainted to you. Because people will think, I don't want to lose this connection. Because I may be needing his help. Yeah, be that person. Be the only way to make people pay is by being successful. How bad do you want to be successful? You can't be, be successful sitting on your you know, butt and watching soccer all day, football. You can't be doing that. These people are successful playing soccer. And you are contributing to their success by investing your time or investing your money, betting into those nonsense. Stop spending stupid money on girls that don't like you to impress people that don't even get... That is success. Wake up, brother.